So, do you ever like fantasize about like, killing him? <laughs> um, Natalie. Hi. Hi. Amazing. This is, no, 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 honey. No, no, no. There's no need to stand up there. Oh, oh I'm like really sweaty. Oh. <laughs> yes, is, is this um, waterproof? Yeah. Yeah. I'll, you know, just in case. <laughs> oh, God. Natalie, mm. I hope you know how proud of you I am. I know that uh, this might feel really intense, but just be yourself and know that I'll be right there with you. Mm. Thanks, yeah, I just feel like this is really important. Oh, so. yes, yes, and we have all been there, haven't we? Yes, yeah, in my day, they just called it a job interview. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're gonna get them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I need that. And thank you so much to our sponsors for making the Stand Up and Talk segment of Real Talk with Jackie so special. Ben Tito, as many of you know, is a friend of Real Talk. And until three days ago, he was also known as a friend to women. He's not only an award-winning music producer, he's also the co-founder of She Songs, a charity that empowers inner city females through music education. Now, we decided not to simply cancel him today because we wanted to try something different. So, please welcome Ben Tito. Thank you for having me. Ah, ben, let's just get to it. There's something you need to address. All right. Uh, a few days ago, there were some allegations that were disturbing to me as both a father and a feminist. But all I want to do today is say that I take full responsibility and that uh, I'm sorry. Mm, thank you for tackling this head on. Mm. Oh, please don't, don't congratulate me. This has been very hard. You know, this uh, story comes from an event she alleges happened three years ago. Well, Three years is not very long. No, no, it's not. Which is why I want to be completely transparent today. I don't remember Natalie, and I don't remember that session. I have many young artists coming through my studio, and I try to help them get a break. I mean, this is how I discovered Eternity. Yes, yes, you did. I mean, anyway, I, even if I don't remember Natalie, I will never deny her account, even as it comes as a personal blow to me. Come on. Copy. Intent. We believe that all women on the show, and in general, um, have the right to be heard. Am I right? For more about. Ben, Ben, I think that you've talked enough for a little while. I most certainly have. So now, let's hear from the brave woman who came forward and used her voice, not just to sing, but to speak up. So please, let's all welcome singer-songwriter Natalie Bellino. Hi, everyone. Hi again, Ben. Hope you remember me now. Natalie, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Natalie, you were an aspiring, talented musician in 2017. Then one day, you met Ben. Yes. What happened? Well, I met Ben Tito in March 2017 when he invited me to his studio. Oh, that's a, a famous producer, and when all you wanted in your life was to break out. I, oh, you must have been ecstatic. I guess so. So can you just try to walk us through your meeting? Well, uh, I arrived at the studio, and I remember it was a Sunday, so it was empty. Mm -hmm. um, we listened to my demos, and he's like, these are awesome. Why don't we just go for it right now, as in record a track? So um, I go into the booth, 
and I'm in there maybe an hour tops. And I'm mid song when I see him. I, I know that this is hard, but it's important Ben hear this. Yeah, okay. Um, so I'm singing and I look up and there's this light on in the mixing room and, and he's standing there and yeah, he's masturbating. So I was um, really freaking out and I somehow just pretended I didn't notice and then I said I had an emergency and just uh, ran. How did you feel? Bad. You gave up your dream that you'd had for your whole life. Uh, well, I'm actually studying to be a therapist now. <laughs> Brave and smart. Yeah, give it up. <laughs> so, uh, Ben, how do you feel listening to this? Excuse me, before he gets to go, I would just like to say that the fact that he says he doesn't even remember me shows that he may well have done this to a lot of other people or worse. I'm speaking out because this isn't just my problem. It's a systemic issue. And um, frankly, I don't really know why he should get to speak at all. I can go if you want me no, to go. No, 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 no. Well, these, these are very... Powerful words, Natalie. Mm -hmm. But we need to confront uh, toxic masculinity head on. Mm -hmm. Yeah? So, Ben? I agree with Natalie, absolutely. There is this systemic societal structures that need to be upended through conversations like this. I mean, first of all, we need to discuss how we're raising our sons. It is an unfair emotional burden that falls on you, Natalie, to have to speak out. And I just want to say that it is a privilege to be able to sit here with you and listen to how you feel. Mm -hmm. no? Well, yeah, I, I hear you. I hear you, Ben. But... Uh, individuals need to take responsibility for their actions. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So how are you taking responsibility? Well, I've learned that to take care of others, you first have to take care of yourself. So I have been seeking professional medical advice for the last year. And while I recognize that I was emotionally dependent on uh, lovemaking and uh, female approval, I never once thought that any of these relationships were non-consensual, mm -hmm. despite the fact that it was quite clear that they're coming from a, a place of deep personal pain and early childhood trauma. Well, th thank you for your vulnerability, Ben. No, thank you. There was something that I, I didn't think I'd be ready to share, but I would like to, if that's okay with you, Jackie. Yes, here, go, go ahead. In this historic moment, I have become closer with my mom. And for the first time, she's revealed to me that she was sexually assaulted. Oh. And that pain that I saw and I felt in her that I could never explain. Finally, I just, I'm sorry, I just, I, I just had to share that. I, I love you, Mom. Thank you for sharing. Are you f***ing kidding me? I, I, I thought we said that Ben had spoken enough. I, I ha, I ha, I've spoken, yes, I, I've spoken about myself a lot, but there's actually, there's just one thing that, I, it, it's a surprise for yes. you, Natalie, and the audience, and I, yes. really, I would love to do this. No, yes. 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 My yes. Yes. This is very important. Yes. <laughs> oh. Don't pass up this chance, Natalie. Natalie, uh, 
all of us here at Real Talk. We were so impressed by how you spoke up for all women that we asked ourselves, what about Natalie's voice? What about the voice she lost? I remixed your song. It's called The Heart of a Phoenix. And it's about a phoenix rising from the ashes. Today, you take oh. back what is yours. Will you sing your song, Natalie? Natalie! 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 We believe you, Natalie. A round of applause for Natalie and her incredible courage. courageous doctor who empowers women with halitosis. Stay tuned. Now, you are a specialist in a condition or an ailment that many people joke about. And even though many people have suffered from this, they still, so I want no laughter from this when we say what this is about. It's a condition called halitosis, or as it's more commonly known, bad breath. And so, what brought you to specialize in halitosis? Well, as a young woman, I... Natalie? Just grab your wallet. Sorry. Wrapped up in your arms, I'm remembering what love is. <gasps> 